get out your chestnuts, and fill your cup with eggnog. Welcome to the Christmas Day Spectacular on Super Den Sports XC. We're going to take it down courtside with Mike Green and Jeff Van Gundy right now. Thanks for joining us tonight with Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Green on hand. Welcome to Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland, Ohio. It's Saturday Night NBA presented by ESPN on EA Sports as we get set for the Cleveland Cavaliers looking for a win here at home tonight against the Boston Celtics. As we get things started, Jeff, who on the Celtics do you think they need to keep an eye out for here tonight? When you're playing against an Al Horford team, you got to realize it. This guy comes out of Florida so well coached by Billy Donovan. It's fundamentally sound figure. They know how to screen, catch, pass, low post game, and they also know how to defend. So you got to prepare for the whole package. This guy is an undersized all-star because of his knowledge of how to play the game. Seconds remaining on the shot clock, down into the lane. Uses a screen to the basket. Tatum's unable to drop it in off the glass. Love's trying to get free off the pick. To the basket, sweet banker. Pretty pass from George Hill. You're not gonna see it much better than that from an offensive finishing point of view against quality NBA defense. Shot clock says 12. Horford hoping for position in the paint. Oh, he's off balance and still fires. Horford's first field goal attempt off the mark. Hey, that's outstanding defense right there. A little bit of a settle offensively, but it was caused by very good defense. You've got to make people miss in this league. You just can't hope they miss. You make a miss, you get a bucket, and now you're starting to work your way back into a manageable margin. Love fires for three with one on the clock. Love's off the mark from downtown. And hey, that's a tough shot right there. Solid team defense forcing the miss. They get him for stepping out of bounds. Those lines are on the court for a reason. You can't step on them and go out of bounds. This drives me absolutely wacko to see a guy step out of bounds. Oh, excellent screen. Not a lot of time for a shot opportunity. Here's the switch, fires the three with two left on the 24. For two, this is the shot. For the layup, unable to back it in. No paint game, no winning. You've got to get the ball at the basket, and then you've got to finish when you get it there. Misses at the rim. Really good job clogging the lane right there. Horford. Final seconds counting down. Strong rebound by Hill. I got him. I got James. It's a loose ball. They tip it and get the turnover. Horford's looking to get free off the screen. To Tatum. Gets to the rim. Makes the adjustment, but misses. Hey, that's a good look right there. Just couldn't get it in. Sends it to the corner. James is using the screen, looking to get free. Fires for two. And LeBron James with a nice play. 
Horford's looking to operate from down low. Gets it up for two. Oh, nice rebound by Smith. Puts it up. Can't connect from close range. To Horford. There's the pick. Playing inside out. Fires for three from the corner. Bang! Hits from downtown. That's efficient offense generating a corner three-point mate. To Smith. James is using the screen, trying to get free. We're down to 11 seconds on the shot clock. Creates some space with that step back. Knocks it down. Pretty crossover. At his age, Jeff, what LeBron James is doing at this point in his career, have you ever seen anything like it? Do you remember Michael Jordan? Come on now. Let's not have amnesia when it comes to great players. James is defying age as well as anybody. But Michael Jordan, too, was at an all-time high level as he aged as well. Don't forget him, Michael. Green set nicely. James, lots of room there. And LeBron James with the jumper. Puts it in. Can you say too easy? He is sitting there open at the three-point line and knocks it in. To Tatum. Eleven seconds now on the shot clock. He curls, gets the two. Lucky roll. Nice work getting into the paint to finish. Loves looking for the screen to get himself open. Off the fake, the layup banks it in. Good poise, good balance, great finish in the paint against quality defense. Monroe lets it go for two, and the rebound taken by Love. seconds remaining on the 24. James looking to curl in. Hood from downtown with two remaining on the clock. To the basket, flips it up, makes the adjustment and gets it to go. Hey, kids at home, you need to study this man's Body. The pass picked off. Nice inside pass. Back in his way down in the post. Too smart. Can't find a way through. Fakes the drive, but steps back. James the rebound. To James. Shot clock down to 12 seconds remaining. Gets a piece of it. Tatum. Here's the screen. Wow, no whistle despite a punishing screen. Rebound corralled by James. That's a three-pointer. The defense nowhere near it. The impressive putback. What timing. Final seconds. Doesn't count. And there's the buzzer. First quarter comes to an end. The Cavaliers up by six. We'll have more NBA action coming up for you right after this short break.
on, make a nice cup of cocoa, cozy up next to a warm fire, and watch the Christmas Day Spectacular on Super Den Sports XC. Neither team able to get much of a control here in the opening period. Some interesting things going on. Yeah, no separation between the teams right now. Some good plays, some inconsistent plays, but what you see is a great competitive spirit by both sides. Eight seconds now on the 24. You're going to have to be quick with this shot. Shot clock down to two. That's from downtown. That one halfway down before popping out. Late in the shot clock, you know it's difficult because somebody's going to try to take you in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Excellent team defense to force the miss by contesting the shot very hard. Oh, he gets the steal. Careless ball handling and goes out of bounds. J.R. Smith's been tenacious with his rebounding. Right now, he owns the paint, getting every rebound in sight. Oh, excellent screen. What a screen. Man, that had to hurt. Not much time to get this shot off. Puts it up for two. And it's off to the free throw line for a couple of attempts. And a foul is called. That's his first personal foul. Team foul number one. And he connects on the first free throw. Monroe. Still plenty of time. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Ball comes loose. Nice deflection by the defense. Puts it down. I like the defense in this possession. Even though the offensive team scored the ball, that was good reaction to come to help protect the basket. Give him credit. He made a nice finish at the rim. To James. Ten seconds to go on the shot clock. James on the drive. Oh, that's a devastating dunk in his face. And when he gets a head of steam up like that, there's no one that'll step in front. And that led to the dunk. We're down to 11 seconds on the shot clock. Moves around the defender. Larkin against Smith. Rozier fires from downtown with one on the 24. Puts it up. Won't go. Misses on the backer. It's hard to close out on great shooters. Tremendous job right there. Getting his hand up, mirroring the ball. Looks to the post. James follows with another shot. Able to connect, and it's now a double-figure lead. LeBron James with 13 points. Larkin's trying to get free off the pick. To Monroe. Shot clock says 12. Not a lot of time for a shot here. Sloppy ball handling. Whistle sounds out of bounds. Looks like the coach is going to make some changes. Yep, here come some substitutions. The Celtics get to inbound. Whatever they've got planned, it'll have to be quick. The Celtics with the offensive rebound for a new 24. He got hit on the shot, so it's time to head to the line. Oh, that was great body control. To be able to absorb the contact and still get off a quality shot, just didn't get it to drop.
misses the second as well. To Smith. It's a loose ball, and they turn it over. To the rim. It's up and gets the roll. You just got to keep playing the game. Push the ball in transition. You get it to the rim. Good finish. Hey, you've got a big mountain to overcome with this deficit, but you're just trying to win each and every possession. Adjusting on the shot. Ooh, misses the inside shot. Don't worry, just work. Keep doing what you're doing. Get the ball at the basket and then finish strongly. Defense has to switch. The screen is set. Nine left on the shot clock. Looking to dominate down low. Pulls up for the shot. That shot won't go. You're only in control of your effort and your discipline. Here, a very disciplined defensive possession, great intensity, forcing the great shooter to take a difficult off-balance shot and force the miss. Picked off by James. Coaching all-time great things about a lot of challenges, but doesn't a lot of it have to do with that all-time great player, what his ultimate goal is? Well, there's no doubt. Your decisions reflect your priorities. You can't just talk about winning. You have to be about winning. And that means getting prepared to practice and play, uh, valuing sacrifice, sharing the ball, uh, taking your rightful share of credit or blame. There's a lot that goes in to winning there's a lot of pressure on the best player like LeBron James, and you have to be the ultimate teammate to get it done. In the paint, they get it back for an offensive rebound. Two points, gorgeous play from LeBron James. Strong move off the dribble penetration to finish at the rim. Ball comes loose. Oh, he goes for the save there. Nice display, an extra hustle. And it's on to the line for a couple of free throws. And he's fouled. Excellent offensive play right there. Contact, finish, just didn't get it to drop for the three-point play opportunity. Free throw shooting knocks down a pair. Screen set nicely. Hill on the drive to the rim. Just won't go for point blank range. You got to keep a team in sight by contesting shots and making sure they don't get away from you. I got him. I got ball. I got ball. To Smith. James is looking to get free off the screen. We're down to nine seconds on the shot clock. Getting to the basket, a pretty Euro step. James is using the screen, looking to get free to love. Strong finish at the rim. That's a strong move right there, finishing with the hammer. Smart's using the screen, trying to get free. They've got to get this off in a hurry. Smart fires for three with two left on the 24. Gets inside, blocked by Horford, out of bounds, turnover. 
looks like we have a little player shuffling going on here. his man down, he puts it up, nails it. The Cavs up by nine. Fires away for two, that's good. On their side. What will they do? At the buzzer. And that'll do it for the first half. Cleveland's up by seven. Coming up, Jalen Rose awaits with your halftime report. Welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. Brought to you by yours truly, Jalen Rose. Cavaliers have the first half lead after lighting up the scoreboard, getting bucket after bucket. Their offensive output has been amazing, and it doesn't look to be slow anytime soon. They've been providing no shortage of highlights. Have a look at the leading scores for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Celtics were unable to find an offensive flow in the opening half. And someone needs to step up offensively if they plan to win this game. Not a single player has gotten into double digits yet. These are the guys getting buckets for the Boston Celtics. The elves are hard at work to meet all the toys for all the good girls and boys. You're watching the Christmas Day Spectacular on Super Den Sports XC. James is looking for the screen to get himself open. Telegraph that pass for the turnover. Sweet entry pass. Strong at the rim. That's the easiest play in basketball right there. Catch it near the basket and flush it home. Hill on the drive. Oh, quick adjustment. Now he gives it up. And that won't go. Close games, second half. You've got to make these open shots if you're going to win. Eleven seconds now on the shot clock, and the pass intercepted by Love. This is an absolute joke, the way both of these teams 
or turn the ball over. It's hard to fathom how they let this game get so out of hand. Gets it off. That's a two-pointer and a nice finish at the basket. He's got 20 points in this matchup. A nice offensive contribution. To Horford. Nine left on the shot clock. You're going to have to be quick here. To Horford. There's the switch. Horford for two. Puts it up. Misfires. Inside. Keeps the play alive and scores. You're not going to see a better possession in the NBA from both sides of the ball. Good defense, good offense, good offense won out that time. To James. Nice move into the paint. He tries to step back. He puts it in. Horford trying to work it down low. Goes to the goal. Oh, nice rejection by Love. James, sweet spin. He puts it up. Moving the ball around beautifully. Oh, excellent screen. It's a loose ball. The pass is deflected, and they get the turnover. One of the keys to winning in this league is not beating yourself. Both teams seem determined to beat themselves rather than their opponent. Blows past his man. Puts it up. Deep corner shot. Nails it. It's a double-digit lead. You're in tight quarters when you're behind the three in the corner. Good job keeping his feet inbound, rising up, and making the three. Loses control. Reaches in. Taken away by Love. Tremendous steal right there because it was tremendous anticipation. This is why he's one of the greats in the game at stealing the ball. Kicks it out to the corner. To James. Not a lot of time for a shot opportunity. James for two, lets it go. The Cavaliers with and a ferocious dunk. If you consistently get dribble penetration and are allowed to finish at the rim, it's no wonder that you're winning by a large margin. Horford for two. And Al Horford with a nice look, sinks it. He's averaging 14 points per game this season. Al Horford made such a difference last year in his first season with Boston. But Jeff, he looks so much more comfortable now. He's the type of player that can fit in with any team and any lineup because he's so versatile. He can play forward. He can play center. He passes it. He defends. Those are the type of players that can make moves to different teams and it can click right away. And Boston calls timeout. They want to talk it over. Did visions of sugar plums dance in your head? You're watching the Christmas Day Spectacular on Super Den Sports XC. And we have both teams with substitutions here. Oh, the off-balance shot. Able to put it in. He's three for five from the field. Ball comes loose. Hood pass deflected, but they hold on. 11 seconds remaining on the 24. Love forces it up. And Al Horford with his fifth rebound. We're down to 11 seconds on the shot clock. It's picked off.
Bad pass taken away there by Horford. Looking for low post position. To the rim. And he'll head to the line for the first time tonight with a chance to complete the three-point play. And looks like some substitution is going to be made now for the team. Able to hit the free throw, and it's a three-point play. Green set nicely. Gets it down low. Love fires away. Can't get it to go from close range. To Tatum. Perfect entry pass at the rim. Knocks it down. He's shooting 71% from the field. Good poise, good bound, great finish in the paint against quality defense. Hood. Love's looking to set up in the paint. They double him. Thompson on the drive. Shot clock down the one. That's a three-pointer. That one in and out. To Smart. And they steal the pass. A pretty entry pass. Unable to flip it in. It's all about making your teammates better. And the way you make them better is to give up a good shot to try to create a great shot. Smart. Entry pass gets it inside. He rattles it in. Now we'll have a timeout. They want to talk it over. The Cavaliers up by three. I like that timeout. Don't let any team build momentum up in a close game in the second half. I heard Krampus is the anti-Santa that kidnaps all the naughty kids. So y'all be nice for me. Y'all hear? You're watching the Christmas Day Spectacular on Super Den Sports XC. Well, coach think it's time for a change. We're going to have some substitutions right now. James against Horford. There's the step back. Nice adjustment. Oh, huge offensive rebound. It's good. Pound the offensive board. Get extra possession. Great job in the pursuit of the basketball and then finishing at the rim. And he curls in. Oh, he slams it through. A tremendous ability to create an angle to get to the rim, drive it hard, and finish with an emphatic dunk. James against Horford, curling in. Help defense there at the buzzer. And the third quarter comes to an end. Cleveland's up by three. Stay with us for more NBA on ESPN after a short break. Santa knows if you've been bad or good, so be good, for goodness sake. You're watching the Christmas Day Spectacular on Super Den Sports XC. Fourth quarter set to begin of another tight game. Neither team has been able to grab any kind of momentum. No, and that's what I love about the NBA. These back and forth type games coming down to the fourth quarter, crunch time plays, 
who's got it in them to finish this game off. Loves looking for position in the paint. James against Orford. Good setup with the entry pass. Love fires away for two. Count it. Gets to the go inside. Orford. Fires away for two. Misses at the rim. This guy's a great shooter. They were on him like Velcro and forced the miss. Good defense. James is trying to get free off the pick. Oh, there's that Euro step move. Really? James with a finishing touch on a gorgeous pass. This isn't like the YMCA layup line. This is like real life. As you go in to try to finish, defense is coming over. This is spontaneous. The ability to adjust, contort, and still finish is a special, special gift. Puts up another shot. And Al Horford with a two-pointer. James is looking to get free off the screen. The shot clock down to 12 seconds remaining. There's the double team. Ball comes loose, and there's a steal. Ball goes out of bounds. Time for some lineup changes now from both clubs. And J.R. Smith will get the inbound. James draws the double. Can't hold on to the ball. And Boston's called for their first team foul. Tied up and has to pass. Puts it down. What a pass to set it up from George Hill. Oh, yeah. He just dropped the hammer with that dunk. Smart's choosing the screen, looking to get free. Puts it up. Nice touch at the basket. And this is what basketball is all about. Who wouldn't love the way this team has been moving and sharing the ball? Love's using the screen, trying to get free. Ball loose again, comes up with a pretty steal. Has no place to go. Gets past the defense, nice. And now he moves around the defender, gets it to go. Three point game. James is looking for the screen to get himself open. 11 seconds now on the shot clock. Forced to make the pass. It's a loose ball. There's a steal. Oh, quick move. Gets inside. Still plenty of time. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Smart against Smith with the fake. Beats the defender. Oh, scores at the rim. When the defense ratchets up their intensity, you've got to have guys who can take it off the dribble and pull up and make those big-time shots in the fourth quarter. For three. Big offensive rebound. Puts it down. There's a timeout call. Hey, your first priority as a defense is to force them to shoot jump shots. When there is a drive, there's got to be help and make them kick the ball out to the perimeter and then close out. All is Miriam right here. You're watching the Christmas Day Spectacular on Super Den Sports XC. Teams making changes to their lineups right now. Here we go, here we go. 
to Tatum. For two, can't connect from close range. I really like that. That's good defense, good sound defense protecting the basket in a close game. Shut down, forced to make the pass. And the defense switches. Curls in, denied by James. Backing his way down in the post. Tied up, has to make that pass. To the rim. Ooh, misses the inside shot. Luck is not a defensive plan. They allowed the ball into the paint and were very fortunate that they didn't knock that shot in. Oh, a ferocious dunk. And when he gets ahead of steam up like that, there's no one that'll step in front. And that led to the dunk. James tied up and has to pass. Wide open for three. Can't hit from beyond the arc. You know, sometimes it's not your night from downtown. They missed the three-point opportunities they got in the first half, and they have continued to miss here in the second half. Tatum puts it up for three. Can't connect from long range. It's a loose ball. It's deflected, and they come up with it. On the drive. Just won't go for point-blank range. Ball comes loose and goes out of bounds. Hey, you got to finish strong on those shots. You're right at the basket. You got to put the ball in the hole. Mass substitutions as both teams mix it up. Oh, excellent screen. To love. Nobody near him for three. Great offensive rebound. Get it to go from close range. Hey, when you're going up against the great shooters in this league, you need to combat that with tenacity and passion. Tremendous defensive possession, forcing the miss against one of the great shooters in our league. Tatum to try for a banker, won't go. You've got to make those shots late if you're going to win. You're right at the basket. Smith. He's up on the shot, passes it out, gets it off, unable to flip it in. We've reached crunch time here in this game. Oh, swats that one away. Don't come in here with that soft stuff. And we have a substitution being made. The Celtics get the inbound in here. Shot clock says 12, looks to the post. Puts it up for two, misses at the rim. Double team closing in. Oh, and he scores on a great look from George Hill. That's the easiest play in basketball right there. Catch it near the basket and flush it home. To Tatum. He curls, attacks the, nails it. Three-point game. It can't get any simpler than that. Attack the basket. Over and over again, it gives you your best chance in a close game to make up ground. Oh, terrific feed. Strong to the goal. to the line with under 30 seconds to go here on the fourth. Clearly a foul called against the Cavaliers. Their first team foul. Excellent offensive play right there. Contact, finish, just didn't get it to drop for the three-point play opportunity. Well, he hits them both. They're within one.
And Boston's called for an intentional. Hey, that's good smart basketball right there. Picking up your aggressiveness, you're down late in the fourth quarter. It makes sense. They foul, yes, but it only results in a side out because they're not in the penalty. Oops, missed the first one. One for two at the line. It's now a two-point lead. And Brad Stevens calls timeout. Very little time remaining here in the fourth. Hey, you're down the stretch of a close game. You come out of a timeout. You don't need a three right here. Yeah, if the three-point shot opens up, great. But if not, what you want to do is create the quickest score you can by attacking the basket. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. You're watching the Christmas Day Spectacular right here on Super Den Sports XC. Let's get the inbound. Good switching on defense. Nice move inside. Gets to the rim. Can't connect from close range. Ref calls the foul, no choice there, they had to stop the clock. Up to shooting two, you need to make both right here. Step up, don't settle for the split, make both and make it a two possession game. Knocks down the first one. For two at the free throw line, the lead up to five. Time running down here on the fourth, so we'll get a timeout. The question here, when you have a two possession deficit, is do you need a three? Well, what you need is either a quick two or get to the free throw line, and then if the three point shot opens up, yes, you're ready to take it. get to inbound. Here we go, here we go. Three pointer. Horford shot for three. Off the mark. Takes the three. James is shot from downtown. Won't go. The clock runs out and this game is over. The final score is 57 to 52. For Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA Sports crew, this is Mike Breen saying thanks for joining us and good night. Jalen Rose here, and I've got your EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Cavaliers got the win in a close game. I could get into detail about their play calling and shot selection, but let's be honest. We all know that the dunks were the most exciting. I'd be surprised if the rim isn't a little bit bent at this point. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Celtics are probably frustrated with themselves after such a narrow loss. And even though they shot so well from the field, I bet 
They're only thinking about the shots they miss. This was a tough game to lose. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Boston Celtics. Game track. Three-point shooting. Each of these teams were solid with their long-range shooting. So by extension, they were pretty poor with their perimeter defense. Closing out on shooters must always happen, whether you're tired or not. Player of the game. LeBron James gets the award for the most obvious reason, and that's his scoring output. He couldn't be stopped, and it was incredible to watch. We close out this segment with a look at the shot chart. Who was cold? Every player that makes it to the NBA is a great athlete, but even the best players have their off nights. Today was just one of those days for this guy. Here we go with the top plays. Number two. Number one. And that does it for our post-game wrap-up. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. Thanks for joining us.